बेटा गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन नाउ वी विल लुक एट चैप्टर टू एमसीक्यूज इफ यू वांट दिस पीडीएफ यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट रोहित सर ऑन एट थ्री सिक्स एट सिक्स सिक्स थ्री नाइन फाइव जीरो Let's look at the first question. What assumption does the basic solo model make regarding technology? So we assume technology is constant or determined outside the model. So we can say that the answer will be D. In its aggregate form, solo model capital accumulation K dot is explained by which relationship? So K dot means change in capital. It increases due to investment and decreases due to depreciation. right so we can go ahead and we can say that <clears throat> this is going to be equation number b k dot is equal to investment investment is savings minus depreciation of capital not b sorry this is a plus sign c where this is nothing but depreciation rate okay next question beta in the cobb douglas model exhibits constant returns to scale what is the important consequence of this property on factor payment so because this is a constant returns to scale hame pata hai ki amount which goes to uh, the uh, as rent is this proportion alpha and as wage is 1 minus alpha proportion of the total income and we also know that we know that output jo hai it is equal to jo bhi total value of output hai it is equal to the amount of rent paid plus amount of wage rate the entire output is exhaustive so the answer is going to be d factor payment completely exhausts the whole value of output theek hai next question when the capital accumulation equation is rewritten in terms of capital per worker what does minus nk represent so this is due to population right so answer is going to be b reduction in capital per worker due to population jab population badhta hai to it is the capital gets distributed among more people that is why next the production function in per worker terms exhibits diminishing returns to capital per worker what does this property imply इस प्रॉपर्टी का मतलब ये है इट मीन्स दैट एज यू इंक्रीज कैपिटल आउटपुट इंक्रीजेस बाय लेस एंड लेस अमाउंट सो वी कैन से दैट आंसर विल बी सी ईच एडिशनल यूनिट ऑफ कैपिटल पर वर्कर इंक्रीजेस वर्कर्स आउटपुट बाय लेस एंड लेस अमाउंट इन द सोलो डायग्राम द सो आई कुड नॉट मेक द डायग्राम्स हियर यू हैव टू रेफर टू योर बुक हा वॉट मैथमेटिकल कंडीशन डिफाइंस द स्टडी स्टेट सो स्टडी स्टेट के स्टार क्या होता है so k star is that in which the change in capital is zero when the change in capital is zero you have sy is equal to n plus delta k jitna increase in capital hoga utna hi decrease in capital hoga capital will increase due to savings that means investment and decrease due to depreciation or population growth theek okay. hai so the answer will be output per worker is maximum c theek hai now starting from the steady state what is the long run effect of permanent increase in investment so when the investment increases savings rate increases it is going to go ahead and have a level effect increase in savings rate will have your level effect so we know that whenever we draw a production function when savings rate in so when savings rate increase then out of the total output more amount is saved right so it has a level effect not a growth effect so it is going to be answer will be d beta output per worker permanently increases to a new higher level level effect ठीक है नॉट ग्रोथ इफेक्ट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्टडी स्टेट वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ परमानेंट इंक्रीज इन पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ रेट अगेन एन विल हैव अवल इफेक्ट है ना तो जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी ड्रॉ दिस लाइन एन प्लस डेल्टा सो वेन इन एन इंक्रीजेस दिस विल शिफ्ट अपवर्ड्स सो एंड इट विल डिक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ योर इक्विलिब्रियम आउटपुट सो वी कैन से दैट द आंसर विल बी C 
while star decreases because more saving must be diverted to capital widening. Very, very interesting. Please read this thoroughly. Ye exam mein aega, what is capital widening? You should know this very well. Thik hai? Is it clear? Okay. I don't know how I ended up drawing these random diagrams here. Okay, anyways. In the steady state of basic solo model, what is predicted growth rate of output per worker? So growth rate in basic model is zero beta. Okay. And uh, output per worker ka growth rate without technological progress, without population is zero. Okay. But the aggregate output, yeah, output per worker, but the aggregate output hai, that will grow at the rate of population if population is present. Iska, if you remember in class, I made a table or this table you will make. So when n is 0 and when technological growth rate, usko g se represent karte hai, 0 hai, to us case mein y, y dot by y, और पर इफेक्टिव लेबर का ग्रोथ रेट कितना लेगा फिर जब ये प्रेजेंट है बट ये जीरो है तब क्या-क्या होगा और जब दोनों ही प्रेजेंट है तब इनका वैल्यूज क्या-क्या होगा यू विल मेक अ कंप्लीट टेबल फॉर इट ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बेस्ड ऑन द अच्छा इफ यू वांट टू रिवाइज आई थिंक देयर इज अ वीडियो ऑन माय YouTube चैनल सोलो मॉडल आई हैव कवर्ड द एंटायर सोलो मॉडल इन 10 मिनट्स for your quick revision. Last year I had made this video. Please search it. Huh? I'll try and I'll pin that video. But now you can find it. Based on the steady state Y star in the basic solo model, what is the model's answer to the question? Why we are so rich and the other people are poor? So, some people are rich and other people are poor because of the differences in the parameters savings rate alag hota hai population growth rate alag hota hai depreciation rate alag hota hai because these parameters differ so difference in investment and population growth rate cause different steady state levels is it clear so these are some of the questions which i thought were important from chapter 2 inko acche se kar lena and uh, i am trying to go ahead and upload for other chapters also and if you want these pdfs please message rohit sir okay Okay, beta. Thank you, huh?